Uh, most horses will fall in the bridle just from that. Yeah, that's good. So you've grown four inches taller. See, I've been doing just the exact opposite. When I sit, I've been driving. Right. I've been sitting and bringing my feet in and weight down on my foot like that. I mean, put it, put it in simple words. You have to become the female part and the horse is the male part, not the other way around. God, this is so, I have to think about it though. The horse has got to get into you, not you into the horse. However, however, that being said, when you're actually posting, you got to do it like the male part. You got to do the male part posting and the female part sitting. Right. You, you follow? Yeah. See, now you're opening your legs just fine. Right, I'm finding a whole new muscle in my head. <laughs> right there. In your butt, right? Yeah. What you know, what makes, you know what's the difference between the ape and the man? No. I'm being serious. <laughs> I just can't believe that yet, but. Yeah, it's the buttock. Yeah, it helps you stand more. Yeah, uh, uh, apes have no buttocks. Because the buttock is what keeps you upright. So the more upright you are, the more you have to use your buttock muscle. Okay. So for this exercise, the popular way today to get the bull is to have the bull come in and the, they call it the bandoleros. So right. they, they, the guys on foot help get the bull pulled around over here somewhere into that, that area of the arena. Comes in that cage. And the guy starts here somewhere, the bull's going to come around over here. And so what you're going to do is ideally, you got to get out here somewhere. You want that bull to notice you from this angle somewhere. Right. See? Now he's going to have a lot of energy and a lot of speed right now. The last thing you want to get into is a direct horse race with him or have him heading here. You want him heading to you here. So you wait until you set that up like the bull in the whole forest or look and come down here. Now I can do whatever it takes. I want to draw him here. Here. Here, I'm going to try to keep you here all the time. So, in my thing here, this first circle is going to be a big fast circle. It would be loping around. And you do however much of that it takes to get the air out of the bull and get control of him. But for our thing, we'll just do one or two circles. Now I want to bring it into more of an oblong thing. I want to keep the bull here because I want to leave the bull right there. And he's not doing it for me. I got to make another circle. So now let's say I get a little. The bull starts to slow down. I'm going to leave him right there. That's where I want to leave him. So now I see some guys come right. They, they have their bandolier already. Come around here and never stop. Change leads, or they'll come around here and they'll get. Lined up on him, and it's important. They don't want to get perfectly straight at him because it's, that's more stress for the horse and harder for the horse. So now they're going to come at him here, and hopefully he'll come to him here. The idea is not to do a duck dive, really. The idea is as the bull comes here to accelerate. Now someone would move that thing to me here to accelerate behind the horns. 
So that once again my bowl is coming here, right? Now I can stick you, right? And I got him right here. So now, now I hurt him and I show that I go to the a circle this way. So at some point, if I was fighting the bull, I would have to get away from him and come back and reset him up the other way. I'd do more stuff to the other side. Mm -hmm. So, but that's just your first deal. It's come in, you see your bull somewhere here, and pulling around on a fairly fast circle. And then come into your circle where your Torino is, and now have somebody pick up your horse and come in here behind your horse. And leave your ball right there. Come down here. And if your horse is really broken, shows a lot of expression, stay right straight. And then I would charge at the counter. Now they would charge me with the Torino. Two hands if I want, if I'm training. Make my circle. And leave my ball.